Okay, I guess it's working. All right, I know it's been a while, so I'm going to at least to get at least get this next lesson on YouTube. And the promise I've made myself is that I'm going to try and do for for every new lesson we get on Saturday, I'm going to try and do that one and an old one until I get caught up because it's it's getting way out of hand. So anyway, um the let the word that the letter that we're going to be doing tomorrow is noon. And it comes in two forms. Uh, let's see, can you even see that? I'm going to see if I can scoot this up a little bit. Um, it has the main form. And then there is a sophie form. That comes down longer, and that's any sophit form means that it's used at the end of a word. And uh, the letter noon represents a fish, except the word for fish is dog. But anyway, the noon represents a fish. It can mean life. It can mean sprouting into life. It can mean movement any of those kinds of things. It usually refers to life in some form. And so first, I'm going to give you three words that have a noon in it. Uh, let's see. And some of them you may know. Okay. So this is, I'll go over slowly because I know some people watching this are still trying to get the letters down. This letter, the first one, is a B, the B. And the two dots under it, what sound does that vowel make? A. And we just said this was a noon so feet. So this is B, A, B. And it means sun. You've probably seen that word a lot. Um, the next one is another family word. Oh, shoot, not yet. We don't put the vowel first. <laughs> okay, so you have a noon with the one dot, a yod and the noon sophit. Do you remember what the one dot means? It's the E sound. So na, E, and this is just adding on to that neen, neen. And it means great grandchild. And you can see, well, going back to uh, Bain, house and life, when you have a son, it brings life to the house. And um, this great grandchild, you have uh, multiple life and it's anchored on. So, um, so that's the nail. The yod. The yod is the hand. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, okay, so I'm, and honestly, I don't know all the time why you would have some of these letters in there, like in the next word. I'm not entirely sure what it means. Feel free to tell me what you think the, the yod in the middle means, why it would be a hand between two uh, noons. The last word we're going to do that has a noon, well, there'll be some others too, but I'm going off on a different direction after this. Now we haven't actually done this letter, but you've seen it a lot. It's a resh. So noon, here are the two dots again. Do you remember the vowel, vowel sound it makes? It's a. So that's a resh. It makes the R sound. Na, air, ner. And that means lamp. Um, and the way it was described to me is that the resh can be a person 
what gives life to the person is something to guide them. And like it says, the Torah is a lamp. So that's how that all gets put together. And I guess that's one way of looking at it. For me, just looking at this movement and head, I don't really get how that made that. But I'm sure there's a reason for it. So um, I'm learning along with you guys. So if you know something or you read something or just something pops into your head, please share it because I'd love to know more about this. Now, what I'm going to do is to share some words that are in the Parsha that we're going to be going over tomorrow. And that's the Parsha Noah. And the first three that I'll 